Hello again. Great to have you here with us. We're out here at Admiral D's in beautiful White Bear Lake. I'm Teresa Petrie and this is the Rush Club, powered by your boat club with 70 boats on seven gorgeous lakes. Each and every week, the three of us show off the upper Midwest of places you've never even seen before. One with women out, having fun, living the outdoors and sports to the extreme. It's a Rush and this is the Rush Club. So thanks again for joining us. Let's get started. I am here with Stacia Bank. She is a champion wake surfer. Stacia, can you please tell us a little bit about what you do? Absolutely. Um, wake surfing is a water sport that's growing really fast behind the boat. Um, you wait one side of the boat and it makes a large wave that propels you forward and you can actually surf that wave. You have a championship, is that right? I do. Um, in 2010, I won the World Wake Surf Championship for surf, and after that, I gained um, some pro sponsorships from Phase Five and the Walker Project for boards, and then multiple other ones for turf and such. And uh, I've just been having fun with it ever since. What are the boards that we have here today? Yes. So this is more of a surf style board, and this is called a Walker Project Bomb Pop and it has the big fins on it. And so you can spin and still do the 360s, but it's easier, it'll be more difficult to spin than that other board. Nice. Um, and this is called a phase five diamond board. And this is a super fun board too. Um, it, if you look on the back, this one just has one little fin. And so um, it's really good for doing all kinds of spins and such. And um, as people get better, you can do shove -its with the board and the whole, the tricks are infinite, really. It sport looks like it requires a certain type of boat. Can you tell us about that? Absolutely. Um, the first and most important one is that you want an inboard boat where the propeller is underneath the boat. Otherwise, it could be dangerous if you had an outboard boat and the propeller was behind the boat. Um, we love Malibu boats. Um, we, the, the guys at Minnesota Inboard have us hooked up right now with a wonderful 23-foot Malibu, and we have it weighted just perfect, so we have a wonderful wake and um, it's really the best that we've found. So what boat are we seeing today? Today we are seeing the Malibu VLX and it's really exciting because it's the new boat with Surfgate. Um, Surfgate is really I think going to change surfing. In the past and actually currently we're having to fill up um, large ballast bags in order to displace the boat to make a big wake so we can surf um, and now with the surf gate, um, it's just a gate that comes off the edge of the, the end of the boat that um, lengthens the boat and therefore creates a shorter, steeper wake on the other side of the boat. And so it's going to eliminate having to fill up all those bags, but create an awesome, fun, fun, fun wake. Like currently, when we weight our boats, that's what we kind of do for the day. But with surf gate, you can change one side of the wake or the other, and you can switch from surfing to wakeboarding to skiing because it's just a touch of a button rather than filling water sets. It was such a pleasure meeting you. Oh, thank you. What a rush. You can learn more about us at The Rush Club by visiting our website. It's therushclub.com. We'll share upcoming events, our bios, and fun little facts about us. Hey, if you have a story suggestion, it's all at our fingertips, so let us know. We're also on Facebook, so friend us there too. Once again, we're at therushclub.com. What a rush. There's still more to come. You're watching The Rush Club. There's no place you'd rather be than here. Your boat club gets you out on the water better and more affordably. You're in the driver's seat with your boat club. 70 boats, seven locations, no hassles. Your boat club gives you the ease of online reservations. So relax, entertain, fish or ski. I love the convenience that we can just pop out and go out for a little bit. Say goodbye to costly upkeep, repairs, cleaning and boat insurance. Your boat club is simply the smartest way to boat. It's all yours at your boat club. I'm Alex, welcome to Bill's Gun Shop and Range. Here at Bill's, we're all about safety basic to advanced handgun training to personal protection and home defense. Bills leads the novice to enthusiast in hunting, sport, or range shooting. Bills Gun Shop offers a combined 120 years of instructor experience and the Midwest's top showroom and gunsmith guidance. Thousands of products, an expert sales team, 
and two convenient metro locations. And coming soon to Hudson, you'll find it at Bill's Gun Shop and Range. We're Minnesota Inboard Water Sports. Our mission is simple. The best boats, superior service, making a customer for life. Newer used Minnesota Inboard has an amazing selection, a metro and northern lake location. Family owned Minnesota Inboard is probably the Midwest's number one dealer of direct drive inboards and the nation's top Malibu dealer. Only the latest water sports in our pro shop. And our service team is king. Enjoy the water like never before. The perfect boat awaits. Soon to have a new Excelsior location at Minnesota Inboard. Pro Power Sports is your one-stop shop for fun year-round. There's never been a better time to get out and play. Pro Power Sports and Marine has a great selection of all the top brands. Our service and support is always there for you, and we stand behind every sale. At Pro Power Sports and Marine, we love the outdoors just like you. New or used, ATV to snowmobile, dirt bike to boat, we'll capture your passion, and you'll buy with confidence. And most importantly, have the time of your life. Serving you online 24 hours a day and from our Ramsey, Minnesota location. We're Pro Power Sports and Marine. Welcome back to the Rush Club. Great to have you here with us. I'm Teresa Petrie, your host. And here's what the Rush Club is all about. It's mixing the ladies and even some of the men into the outdoor extreme sports, just like this. Winner by knockout, Travis Brown. Well, you all know from our website that when we talk about the Rush Club, we say we are about women and a few men. This guy is absolutely something else. He is UFC's hottest ticket. Travis Brown, welcome to the Rush Club. Thank how you. How are you doing today? Doing good, doing good. Good. Now, Travis, if you could tell our viewers, how big are you? I'm uh, 6'7", 250 pounds. Um, and the guy I'm fighting is 6'4", 265 pounds. So we're gonna have a big fight, literally, October 5th. Where are you originally from? Because you wear your heritage very well. Yeah, I'm originally from Hawaii. Um, you know, it's something that I take everywhere I go, obviously, on my body and also on my heart. Um, you know, so it's just, uh, it's a culture and it's where I was born and raised and it's something that I live daily. You're from Paradise. That had to have been hard to leave. Definitely. Well, now I live in San Diego, um, but I train in Albuquerque, so that's the hard part. You know, obviously I don't have any of my loved ones there, friends or, or mm -hmm. family, so um, I go there to train and that's all I do on there. So tell us a little bit more about yourself and this nickname that you have. Hapa is, uh, is actually something I was called growing up. Uh, Hapa means half, so I'm half Hawaiian and half Caucasian. Um, Hapa Hale is actually the term that they use. So growing up, I was called Hapa. It's something I decided to take with me in the cage, uh, represent like uh, a people with me every time I go in there. Um, and it's, it's something I'm proud of. Fighting out of San Diego, California, USA, Travis Hapa! You got into the sport because of your kids and your mm -hmm. legacy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got into the sport. Um, you know, I was always an athlete growing up, and I always pictured myself doing something professional. And we found out that my wife at the time was pregnant with our, with our son. I just had to get back to my roots. You know, I didn't feel like I'd accomplished anything that I that I wanted to. I was just working a regular job, and I knew I could have done way better for myself. So I started doing jujitsu, and jujitsu is kind of a gateway into MMA. Once I started getting into MMA, that's when, for me, it just kind of took off. I fell in love with the sport, um, the training, and um, now here I am today. You officially train in Albuquerque, you said, and for good reason? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Actually, the environment has a lot to do with it. it uh, mm -hmm. we're, at, we're at high altitude, so we're about 6,000 feet, um, and so training up there is so much harder than training at sea level. One of the biggest knocks on the heavyweight division is the cardio. So I figure if I take my size and my ability up to high altitude and get good cardio for every single one of my fights, that's something I can have an advantage of in my opponent. Well, I gotta ask you, what's your diet right now? Okay, right before a fight, um, leading up to it, I eat pretty clean. I try to stick with mostly just proteins. Um, for instance, like for lunch, I'll eat like two cans of tuna and a little scoop of rice or something, you know? So that's also been one of the other, like the hardest things for me to adjust to 
is my diet. I'm used to eating whatever I wanted to eat, whenever I wanted to eat it, and uh, it's, it's a tough one. Now, do you miss plate lunch? Big time, big time. <laughs> why, you gotta, why you gotta ask, ask me a question like that? <laughs> Making me hungry. <laughs> well, uh, what, what is plate lunch? Tell us about it. Plate lunch is just, uh, you know, you, you usually go to like a restaurant or actually your grandmas or aunties will usually cook it, but usually it's a lot of rice, a lot of meat, a lot of gravy, just so delicious, big plate of food, gets you nice, fat and happy, ready to take a nap after. Cool. Okay, we have seen you all over YouTube and you are explosive. Tell us about the Superman punch. Okay, um, yeah, the Superman punch was actually something that I'm known for now but it's not something that was meant to actually knock out an opponent. It was more meant to close the distance and the strikes afterwards were meant to knock him out. But in my case, it worked out. Um, we trained it for Stefan Struve, who's actually four inches taller than me. Uh, that way we could reach him, first of all, and close the distance at the same time. But it landed great. He was coming in as I was throwing it. Um, it knocked him out. And, and I think, you know, just my athleticism and, and also the hard work had a lot to do with that. Do you think your upcoming fight this October at Target Center is going to set you up as a contender? Big time. I think um, I think the fight with, with uh, Bigfoot is going to set me up. It's going to put me in the talks with uh, the Kane Velasquez and you know the June Dos Santos and stuff like that. So um, it's a fight that I'm taking very serious, and I'll, and I'll be ready for. How about what what's been your greatest challenge fighting? Um, it, it's actually been finding my 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 true motivation, you know, I think um, it's really easy in this industry to get caught up in the wrong things, you know, such as like money and fame and even like women and all that kind of stuff. And it's, uh, it's something that I'm lucky because early in my career I found my true motivation. I, and I think that's the, that's the key to my success is, is fighting for, you know, for my family and my kids and, and, and supporting them and, and just being a part of that lifestyle and, and make, making sure that I stay humble and have the right people around me. Thank you so much, Travis, yeah. for sharing this afternoon with us. Oh, I'm okay. Teresa Petrie, and this is The Rush Club. But then I saw it, and I went like this, and his toenail went If you're getting out on the boat, here's a Rush Club look at lake water temperatures, brought to us by Minnesota Inboard. Up next, out landing like never before on The Rush Club. There's no place you'd rather be than here. Your Boat Club gets you out on the water better and more affordably. You're in the driver's seat with your Boat Club. 70 boats, seven locations, no hassles. Your Boat Club gives you the ease of online reservations. So relax, entertain, fish or ski. I love the convenience that we can just pop out and go out for a little bit. Say goodbye to costly upkeep, repairs, cleaning and boat insurance. Your Boat Club is simply the smartest way to boat. It's all yours at your Boat Club. We're Minnesota Inboard Water Sports. Our mission is simple. The best boats, superior service, making a customer for life. Newer used Minnesota Inboard has an amazing selection, a metro and northern lake location. Family owned Minnesota Inboard is probably the Midwest number one dealer of direct drive inboards and the nation's top Malibu dealer. Only the latest water sports in our pro shop. And our service team is king. Enjoy the water like never before. The perfect boat awaits. Soon to have a new Excelsior location at Minnesota Inboard. We're the RV leaders in Minnesota, and Niemeyer Trailer Sales is ready to get you rolling. At Niemeyer Trailer Sales, we're family and building a customer bond since 1965. Our staff is dedicated to finding you the right RV and committed after the sale. We have Rockwood, Arctic Fox, Prowler, and Travelite. We have fifth wheels, travel trailers, campers, super service, and experience. Let us work for you online at Niemeyers.com or visit us in person. You'll see Niemeyers is the place to be. I'm Teresa and I am here today with Jeremy from Expedition Ops Outfitters. Now Jeremy, if you could describe to us the concept of overland. Overlanding is basically taking the idea of backpacking and then putting it into a vehicle, using a vehicle to get you into the backcountry into places that you would normally try to carry yourself by foot, by bicycle, by horse. 
This is just another way of getting yourself out there into the environment and uh, in a responsible way. And how did you first get into this? Well, uh, I backpacked uh, for years and years, used to climb and um, did some mountain climbing, a little bit of stuff like that. And then I wound up having a bunch of knee injuries. The knee injuries slowed me down a ton. So once I was slowed down by the knee injuries, I went in and decided to, I still needed that, that fix of being out in nature and being away from everybody. Living in the city was, was just a little claustrophobic at times, as much as I do love it. So I found a way to get out and uh, get back into the backcountry by building a vehicle that could take me, all the equipment I needed to, my dog, and um, get us out to where we wanted to where we wanted to go. Could you walk us through the vehicle? And Absolutely, yeah, I'd love to. So with the vehicle, kind of from, from front to back, we've got things, for example, like the um, like steel bull bars. Those are, those are put in place so that if we're out on the trail and we're, we're coming along, a lot of times we'll be on dirt roads and we'll be traveling 35, 45 miles an hour because we have 100 miles to cover that day. And if an animal comes across the track and you're not able to see them, if you hit an animal and you're 100 plus miles away from any civilization, that could be the end of a, of a, of a trip and the start of a really big emergency. So those will protect the radiator and some of the internal vital organs on your, on your vehicle because now your vehicle is a, it's a lifeline to you surviving out in the outdoors. Uh, to help keep the vehicle running and to kind of power some of the, uh, the amenities, I'll carry solar panels with me as well. That'll help run some of the electrics uh, so I'm not having to run gas generators or other things because again, there, there is the idea of trying to be as environmentally uh, responsible as possible while we are traveling in a, in a gas guzzling vehicle. So it's trying to kind of, you know, the, the balance of, of things. Under the hood, there's secondary batteries. I also have a hot water heat exchanger so I can have hot water on the trail. Um, the, uh, the women in my life find that very uh, enjoyable when they can take a hot shower. We'll step into the back here. And here we have the, uh, the shower system. So this is run by a, a 12 volt pump. So that's cold, that's hot. I take my showers right about there and it's, so you've got, this is all run by powered pumps. So you have on demand sure. water. So it's really easy. It's a lot like you'd have at home, except you want to be a little bit more responsible with how many times you squeeze that trigger. I gotta tell you, this has gotta be my favorite part about the shower. Tell me more about this. So this is the Expedition Ops shower mat. I make these here locally in Minneapolis. I source all the materials locally as well. I partnered with a company at Duluth, Minnesota for the wood, and this is reclaimed redwood that they go through and they dismantle beer tanks, wine tanks, water tanks, and pickle tanks, and come out with this gorgeous redwood. They cut it down for me, send it to my shop in Minneapolis, and then I go through and process the redwood. Then I string it together using recyclable stainless steel wire rope, and then also recyclable copper, of course. It's, uh, it's a simple, elegant solution. It rolls up really small, doesn't take up a lot of space. And then uh, this, uh, this upper cabinet carries some of the things that we don't use all that often, but are really heavy. So things like recovery gear, uh, you know, extra oil, coolant, in case we do need to do trail repairs, big heavy tools, spare parts, things like that. Good to know for the ladies. That's right. <laughs> so what do we got here? So here we've got additional fuel cans, and then we have one, uh, one additional water can. So this gives us another uh, little bit extended range on water. Everybody wonders, you know, okay, if I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna be by myself, how much water should I bring? I remember asking that question a thousand times when I was backpacking, or whether I was going out climbing, or I was just going out on the lake for the day, how much water do you need to bring? Good rule of thumb is a gallon. The hotter it is, the more you add to it, the colder it gets, still keep it at a gallon. So if you can be really active, add a little bit more. So, Carrying extra water, this is real nice and easy to get to. We've got some extra fuel because the truck gets thirsty as well. And then uh, what we were standing under before was, uh, was an awning. This awning pulls out in about 30 seconds, but with one person. So it's real quick and easy to set up, gives you immediate shade, uh, good rain protection. Living out of these vehicles for weeks at a time, you need additional living space. You can't just stay in a tent the entire time, otherwise you kind of start to lose your mind. My personal favorite thing is the fridge and freezer. So if we reach inside here, we've got a huge fridge right here and then we've got a nice freezer. So I can make ice cubes for the, uh, for the margaritas while we're out on the trail. So this is, a, this is a, called a rooftop tent. This originated in, uh, again, South Africa, and then they expanded into Australia and the European market, now they're here in the United States. This is actually imported directly from South Africa 
It's made out of marine grade plywood. It's beautiful, beautiful construction. Each of these are handmade by a team of about 45 to 50 people. And they really take a lot of, a lot of care and a lot of passion in what they do. So it's, it's traditional canvas walls. So you get really good breathability, but it's also really good with water. So this can mount on top of, as you see, a trailer, or it can mount right on top of the roof rack of the truck. This flips open and sets up very quickly. Inside is a, is a queen size mattress with 600 thread count sheets with my down pillow. I bring my down comforter with me. The focus is sleeping comfortably. So when I wake up, I can have a great day. I can fill it with a lot of activity. But when I get back, I wanna be able to drink a good beverage and I wanna be able to eat a good meal and I wanna sleep really well. Jeremy, thank you again for all your time here. You've got a great setup. Go ahead and visit www.expeditionops.com for more adventure. See you next time. Here's some of the events and shows that we're keeping an eye on at the Rush Club. Ahead, big fun outdoors on the Rush Club. Stop off to Admiral D's here on beautiful White Bear Lake. They've got great food, awesome drink specials, and be sure you go to their website, www.admiraldees.com. We're the RV leaders in Minnesota, and Niemeyer Trailer Sales is ready to get you rolling. At Niemeyer Trailer Sales, we're family and building a customer bond since 1965. Our staff is dedicated to finding you the right RV and committed after the sale. We have Rockwood, Arctic Fox, Prowler, and Travelite. We have fifth wheels, travel trailers, campers, super service, and experience. Let us work for you online at Niemeyers.com or visit us in person. You'll see Niemeyers is the place to be. I'm Alex. Welcome to Bill's Gun Shop and Range. Here at Bill's, we're all about safety, basic to advanced handgun training to personal protection and home defense. Bill's leads the novice to enthusiast in hunting, sport, or range shooting. Bill's Gun Shop offers a combined 120 years of instructor experience and the Midwest's top showroom and gunsmith guidance, thousands of products, an expert sales team, and two convenient metro locations. And coming soon to Hudson, you'll find it at Bill's Gun Shop and Range. Pro Power Sports is your one-stop shop for fun year-round. There's never been a better time to get out and play. Pro Power Sports and Marine has a great selection of all the top brands. Our service and support is always there for you, and we stand behind every sale. At Pro Power Sports and Marine, we love the outdoors just like you. New or used, ATV to snowmobile, dirt bike to boat, we'll capture your passion, and you'll buy with confidence. And most importantly, have the time of your life. Serving you online 24 hours a day and from our Ramsey, Minnesota location. We're Pro Power Sports and Marine. It's time. Lock in your plans to make a day of it with your bowl club at White Bear Lake. That's right, your bowl club is the perfect match for fun and entertainment. Your bowl club has amazing variety and a selection of new Bennington pontoons, ski and fishing boats from which to choose. It's simply hassle-free boating. With online reservations and memberships, you save money and time compared to ownership. Then, it's time to do the town. Every York Boat Club location has great dining, shopping, sites, and scenic R&R nearby. So if you're looking for that perfect day, for a special party, class reunion, girls or boys night out, you name it. Just 20 short minutes from Minneapolis and St. Paul, Wiper Lake is a community filled with a small town charm and big city attractions. Whatever the season, you are sure to find something fun to do in White Bear Lake. It's just really convenient and uh, you don't have to clean, clean the boats. Uh, just come out on the dock, the guys are friendly and uh, boats ready to go. Just go have a good time and come on back and you're done. Well, I think it's just great, the flexibility. I used to have a, a larger 32-foot uh, uh, boat. Now I can just come and go as I please, uh, look online, you know, just uh, show up, bring my cooler, you know, grab some friends, go out, come back, and just enjoy it. I like being able to try out a bunch of different lakes um, to, to, and try out different kinds of boats. I love the convenience that we can just pop out and go out for a little bit. Getting into the swing of things in White Bear is easy to do. With countless indoor and outdoor activities, White Bear Lake is the ideal destination to explore the beauty and excitement of Minnesota tourism. After you've spent a memorable day on the water and on the town, the only thing you need to remember is where you parked your car because your boat club takes care of the rest. There's no gassing up the boat, no cleaning, no waiting to load out, no covering, no towing your boat through rush hour. It is boating at its best. Hassle-free boating, by your boat club.
Today we're here at the Noka County Fair for the truck and tractor pulls. I'm standing next to Kim Moore, who drives one of these big rigs. Now, Kim, I'm not sure if this is a truck or a tractor. You gotta explain to us what kind of machine you're playing with here. Well, we're driving in the 6,200 pound two-wheel drive class, and we drive on the back two wheels. I'm like, so once we take off, the front end will come up off the ground, and that's how we'll hang it all the way down the track, is up on two wheels. Um, it, has, uh, it has a bucket. It's actually from a Ford T-Bucket, but we run Chevys, so we call it just a bucket. How did you get in one of these machines, and how long have you been doing this? Well, I've been pulling since um, 2007, and I grew up with pulling. My dad's been pulling since 1968, and it's just something that our family has always done. But I didn't get to start pulling until 2007, when I finally made that push to, that I wanted to drive. How do you train to get into one of these machines? Like, how do you prepare for an event like this before getting out there in the arena? Well, my first time hooking, I'm like, they just took me out to a practice track, hooked up to the sled, and all they told me was, whatever you do, don't let off the throttle. We've got plenty of weight on the front end, so you have nothing to worry about. So I get out there, and I push the throttle forward, and it went sky high, all the way up as high as it could go, and I hung it all the way down the track, and that's how I learned how to drive. Well, it kept you going. What's going through your mind now? It's got to be an absolute adrenaline rush when you're out there in the arena. It very much is. I'm like, I get very nervous ahead of time, but once you get out on the track and you're suited up and buckled in, it just, you know what you got to do and that's what you do. Well, there's a big crowd here. What, what kind of stuff do you hear from your fans when they see you off the arena? Just impressed that a girl's out here driving with all of the guys and kids, a lot of kids like to look up to you. And, it's fun to have them out here too. You know, my kids are here. You know, my husband and it's family, and it's good to have them out here and to be excited to come back here and look at the vehicles and, and talk to the drivers and get your autograph. So it's a lot of fun. So, what would be your biggest piece of advice to somebody who wants to break into this industry, or pick up one of these vehicles and pull? If you're a girl, you can do it. Because I'm like, just because you're a guy doesn't mean that this is a guy sport. I'm like. Yes, it is the majority guys, but there's girls in here and we can win too. What's your favorite part about this sport? What's going through your brain when you're out there, when you hit that throttle? The best part is beating the boys. That's all I want to do is get out there and be out in front and beat them. So it's, you know, calming yourself down and just, you know, going out there and moving the throttle forward and getting down the track, getting out there past 320 foot. Kim? Thanks again. I am really excited to watch you go race this thing. You guys better be ready too, so sit back and enjoy on the Rush Club. You can learn more about us at the Rush Club by visiting our website. It's therushclub.com. We'll share upcoming events, our bios, and fun little facts about us. Hey, if you have a story suggestion, it's all at our fingertips, so let us know. We're also on Facebook, so friend us there too. Once again, we're at therushclub.com. What a rush! So that's it for this week. Thanks again to Admiral Dees for having us. Be sure to check out our website at www.therushclub.com. And until next time, have a great weekend. I'm Teresa Petrie, your host. Get out and enjoy the rush. Put your feet on the board like this. The rope between your arms and you're just gonna like hang out like you're gonna, you're gonna